I want to end on this statistic, which I learned last year and has really become one of my North Stars. Researchers at the, at the Family Acceptance Project at San Francisco State University, one question they're asked is, do you believe that you will ever be a happy LGBT adult? For queer youth who come from families rated extremely accepting, 92%, 92% are able to imagine themselves in happy futures. For queer youth from, from families who, out, who, who outright shun or reject them, only 35% have visibility. Think about that for a minute. Two thirds of LGBTQ young people who had the misfortune to be born to families that cannot accept them have lost the ability to imagine their future selves being happy. I can't see how losing that ability is any different from losing one's fundamental sense of hope, hope for themselves, hope for the world, hope for their, for their, for their individual future or ours collectively. So it's phenomena like this that happen every day, anywhere an LGBTQ kid is growing up, knowing that they're different, afraid to express it, even in the most progressive regions, let alone the most conservative, that motivates me to keep querying the future and showing that the future can be queer. To create more scenarios with thriving queer protagonists, to uncover the trends that will particularly impact LGBTQ people, not just to preempt emerging victimhood, but also to empower them to grab the wheel and grab us by the future they see and deserve.